Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can do this text portrait effect using GIMP. So let's get started. First I'm going to delete these layers and start with this image. It's good if you have the face on a black background or a white background, but you can still do this even if uh, you don't have it isolated on a black or white background. First thing I want to do is I want to grab the rectangle select tool. I'm going to zoom out holding down the control key, turning the mouse wheel and make a selection just by dragging like this and try to select half of the face. Then I'm going to go to this option here to duplicate the image and I'm going to use the edit menu, fill with foreground color which is black, then select none. Then I'll go right here on this top layer, right click and make sure this image has an alpha channel, this layer. If it doesn't, click on this option, this time it's grayed out, this means that it already has an alpha channel. So the next step will be to create the text, so I'm going to grab the text tool, click here, turn on the caps lock and start writing I and then I'll click the enter key to go on the new line then write love enter key my free gimp then I'll click control A to select all of the text within the box here then go ahead and click on this option to change the color to white I'm also going to make it bold and from this option over here I'll uh, make it right justified. Then I'll go over here and change the size to 140 pixels and you see I made the eye here lowercase so I'm going to delete it and make sure it's uppercase and again select it, make it white make it 140 pixels and also bold I'll grab the move tool and adjust the text over here and we can actually add one more word here I'm going to hit the T key for the text tool and click over here and then hit the enter key and I'll write using then go back to the move tool and adjust this here again. Now I'm unable to see this part of the face so I'll go ahead and select this layer and reduce the opacity just so I can see where my text is on the face. Then go ahead to the text tool again make sure I've selected the text layer above and now I can play around with the letters here for example here the G is going to outside in the dark here so we can select this and use this option to reduce the size let's say to this we can also play around with this option over here to adjust the spacing between the lines if you want to let's reduce the size of this word as well a little bit and this one grab the move tool to adjust it over here again so this is how pretty much you adjust uh, the different words how to appear on the face you just uh, use different size spacing between the lines to adjust it so it can appear and look good on the face let's see how this is going to look I'm going to select this layer again and change the opacity back to 100 go to this layer with the text right click and choose alpha to selection now move back over here and click the delete key now because we have the white text here we are not seeing anything so I'm going to click on the side to uh, make it invisible then go to select none and you see how our effect looks and now if you want to make it look more like a portrait we can grab the crop tool and just crop it like this and this can be our final image 
So as you can see, it's a pretty easy effect to do. If you have the face on a white background, for example, uh, when you're filling, selecting and filling, you will just choose the fill with background color, which is white by default. Or if you want to, you can fill with some other color. Just change the color from here and then use the option to fill. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, like it, leave me a comment, visit my channel for more, subscribe if you're new. And that's it for this one. Bye.